Hello, everyone. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. We got straight kids in the building. We got Billboard in the building. We got Jason Lipschitz in the in the building in the Twitter What's space. What's up? What's well, up? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you guys for joining. First and foremost, Stray Kids, I, there is a lot to talk about. There's a lot of exciting things to get into right now, mm-hmm. I guess. But first and foremost, can you guys just let us know with with a reaction real quick? How are you guys feeling health-wise? You guys are doing uh, okay? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. We're really, really fine. Really. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. We just had to get that out of the way because... I want to, we really want to get in here really quickly. And of course, the first news we want to talk about is getting your reactions to being the number one album on the <gasps> Billboard 200. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. So exciting. Oh, so my God. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, because like, we, we heard the news like um, a few moments ago as well. And we were yeah. like, oh, wow, this actually happened and then we were like talking with it um talking about it with each other and we were like oh is this even, yeah is this, is this real, is this, real? <laughs> is this real like, is this actually this happened this early in the morning yeah <laughs> we were really surprised too yeah uh mm. it's real huge huge congratulations to you guys ordinary is officially number one on the billboard 200 chart jason do you want to do you want to run down some of the numbers uh for, for everyone Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, first of all, what's up, guys? This is Jason Lipschutz. I am the executive director of music at Billboard. Woo! Very hey, Jason. Happy Jason. To be, uh, what's going on? Um, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here with, with my man, Jeff, who oh. I've known forever. Uh, just uh, an expert in the field, one of the, one of the greatest guys on this planet. And I'm, I'm so happy both he's here, you guys are here, and you guys have a number one album on the Billboard 200 albums chart. Um, I, I also want to want to quickly thank everybody for listening. I, I know I would, I, I don't know, Jeff, I mean, he, he and, and you guys, Stray Kids have way more followers. I've just had a taste of the excitement around this Twitter space uh, over the past <laughs> few hours. People are hyped to be here. Your fans wow. are incredibly excited. Um, so I just wanted to, to shout all of them out. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Okay, so let's get quickly to the numbers. I, I, I'm going to go a little bit quick. This is so, your first first number one album. We're obviously going to dig into that in a bit. Cool. We, you guys have gotten, with this debut, 110,000 equivalent album units. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. And and I'm gonna save some stats for a little bit later, but I want to get to this one, and I'll 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 let Jeff take the steering wheel after this. One hundred one hundred and three thousand in pure album sales, and that number is the biggest sales week for an album in 2022. Oh, wow. so oh, really? Uh, I'm, that is that wow. is uh and and shout out to our our billboard charts expert uh keith caulfield who who writes all of our billboard 200 album story he breaks everything down on billboard.com wow. oh. oh. but uh oh congrats to you guys I'll, I'll let jeff uh roll with it but i but those are the big numbers so congrats thank you oh, so, thank so you much, so much. Wow. wow thank you well, yes Thank oh. you, Jason, for, for that was amazing uh, introduction. I got a little too hyped. I, I was way too excited to just jump right into it. But thank you for uh, calming things down and, and breaking down the numbers for us, because I think that they're amazing numbers. And uh, you guys r- really, really should be proud, straight kids, you know. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say, you know, personally, congratulations, too. I, I'd literally been talking to Stays here on Twitter just about how Stray Kids just needed that chance, you know, in America to really prove themselves. Big shout out to Republic Records, who's who's in this space as well. Uh, JYP, Imperial, Ingrooves, and of course the fans that, you know, made all of this come together to uh, make this really amazing achievement happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And, um, but of course, though, we got to get into the music too, because you guys had a lot of great songs to choose from, from this EP. And I oh, guess... Yeah. <laughs> 
I th- I love this album. This this is really one of my favorites. I gotta say. Oh. Do you have a favorite song? Me? Oh man. Um, I really do like Lonely Street. I, I've been oh. like tweeting the lyrics a lot. It gets me. Oh, really? Lonely Street. Oh, yeah. Lonely Street is a good song. song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jason, do, do, do you have a favorite? <laughs> Same so as <laughs> obviously, obviously, Maniac is is kind of the the one that I, initially I, I gravitate toward. But I'll tell you guys uh, that that run of Charmer and then Freeze, mm-hmm. that's those are my jams right there. Just in the oh, middle of that project. Like I, I, just want, I just want to say that like I've been listening to this project all day and kind of oh, in, wow. in anticipation of this and like just musically the ambition is is so impressive so so congrats to you guys i'm i'm a big fan of just the progression that i hear on this record wow. so, so so big congrats <gasps> thank you so much thank you, thank you. Yeah. um i guess I, we, we got, can oh. um yeah we, we'll tell you um i guess what we um would like to pick for our i guess favorite song on yeah each please album. everyone yeah, please sure. jump in with your favorites um uh, well sungmin just said his favorite is lonely street as well yeah and then if we go to Lino, oh Lino likes Venom. um Venom. Venom. Mm-hmm. Charmer. Nice. I introduce Charmer. I choose Lonely Street. Oh, Han Lonely choose the Lonely Street too. I love Maniac. Oh, Maniac, Maniac by Hyunjin. <laughs> oh, I can't choose. <laughs> oh, why not? Because all of song is my favorite. Oh, oh, oh but you have to pick oh one. You have God. to pick one. You have to pick one. Lonely Street. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh. Felix, I like Venom. Oh, Venom. That's a good like Venom introduction too. to the ordinary <laughs> album. So yeah. yeah. Um, I can't pick one either, but um, I really like the unit songs. Oh, yeah, no, the one unit one songs one. are really really nice. Nice, and and you know I, I want to point out too, you guys really do deserve the credits for this one because you know you 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 are always involved in your music you've been involved with your music since that you know that yep. first mixtape but you guys wrote this entire project like this was written by the stray kids members so i think you know really huge congratulations by you guys it, it's really uh just amazing to see oh thank you so much i mean everyone did their part and everyone was really really hard working as well so um gotta give a big you know pat on the back to everyone yeah. oh you did a good job yeah good, good job, job. Yeah. good job yeah. good hey you did good you did good, good, good. Job. You did good thank you so much genius leader <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. Well, let's get into why, why Maniac was, was the right song. You know, with all these great songs, why was Maniac the right song for the title track? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I think the Maniac expresses this album the best. Ooh. And we wanted to show you the Maniac side of Stray Kids on stage. Oh, So that's why we chose it. Oh, oh Changbin! Oh, yeah. Yo, it out. <laughs> nice answer, Changbin. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, I think what's so great too is that, of course, you know, Maniac. We got that amazing music video with it. Jason, did you check out the the, the music video? It's unreal. Yeah, I. Oh, no, unreal. Yeah, okay. unreal. Um, yeah. Go go ahead, Jeff. I'll. I'll, 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 I'll yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a question about about the project, but I'll, I won't, I won't stop your flow. <laughs> oh well, I was just gonna say, you know, you guys didn't just do Maniac. You guys got videos for Venom, Lonely Street, Freeze, yeah. and I feel like they're all telling a larger story here. Um, and it's really awesome to see. Can you, can you maybe talk about creating these different music videos and sort of the story you're telling with with these visuals? Mm. Um. Well, I mean, each video has its own concept. And uh, we had so much fun filming um, the videos as well. Um, I remember if we if, if there was an episode for um, Venom. Oh, do you guys remember anything like oh, an episode? Yeah. Venom. Mm-hmm. Mm. I remember. I remember like oh, you know when we had the masks on. Yeah, the masks oh, on. Like, yeah. The beanie like masks. Yeah, on. yeah. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. Um, I like how each scene had like a. Oh, it was like very impactful. Like um, mm. how um. Han would um hit the grenade with a baseball. Yeah, I threw the grenade. <laughs> oh yeah. Send me through the grenade. Um, do you guys oh, yeah, remember you... anything from Freeze? Oh, I freeze. Freeze. Oh, freeze. Oh, the weather was freezing. Oh yeah, the weather oh, yeah. was freezing. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. 
Literally, literally yeah. freezing during freeze. Yeah, yeah, it was freezing during freeze. But um, all all, all the music videos it was just really really fun to film, and we had so much fun. So good memories. Even even Lonely Street, because you guys get pretty emo on that one. You guys are, you, we got actor straight kids on that one. I feel like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Each each member. Um. They really. Um. I guess put out their their acting skills. I was actually really really surprised as well because um. Watching the, I, I didn't know Singman could cry like so oh, naturally. Yeah. I was like, whoa, Singman. Oh, 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 yeah, I was like, wow, I what? Know. When did this happen? I threw a CD. Yeah. Also, the weather <laughs> was cold, so. I was oh. Crying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? You yeah. cried so because it's cold. cold. <laughs> oh, so Singman, you were tearing up from the cold, not just yeah. from uh, the emotion. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Amazing, amazing. I love it. I love it. And you know, too, I, I really want to give some shout outs to um to the unit songs. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Bang Chen, as you mentioned, you know, Waiting for Us by Bang Chen Lino, Sung Min and I N. Mm-hmm. We also got Muddy Water by Cheng Men, Han Jin, Han and Felix. Can you yep. take us yep. through yeah, creating them, introduce them for us? You know, what inspired those those two different songs? They're very different sounds. You wanna explain Muddy Water? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um well basically for Muddy Water. Um, it's a song that, you know, about a younger generation's willingness to, you know, work and improve for new ideas and for the future. Mm -hmm. And just through that, um, there are still, you know, different generations that still don't understand what, um, point we want to get to and what destination we want to get to. And so I guess through, um, the song we made, the concept we grabbed was, um, a bit of a boom bap. Um, genre, yeah, we old went school hip hop, yeah. yeah, old school hip hop, and I felt like that genre really helped us express our emotions through lyrics and mm. yeah. just our um goals, basically what um people have in their minds, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to the song Muddy Water, mm. yeah. yeah, but yeah. I feel like yeah, it's a really good song. Oh, I, like, sure. I like how you said the title, Muddy Water, Muddy Water, Muddy Water. Muddy Water. <laughs> Is it weird saying water? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable with water. Yeah, water. No <laughs> um, water. With um, Waiting For Us, um, I think two major points that we wanted to, I guess, um, emphasize on was because, you know, um, the weather is getting kind of warmer. I mean, it got pretty cold recently, but um, it is getting warmer. So we wanted to make a song that was just, um, that really suits the weather. And the second point was, I guess, you know, Waiting For Us, uh, we have a lot of people waiting um, for, you know, you know, to meet up with us. Um, we are waiting for people. Um, we are also waiting as well. And um, we just really wanted to express that, you know, through our lyrics. Because, you know, we haven't seen stays in such a long time. Imagining mm-hmm. the day when the corona pandemic ends. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. We would imagine um, when, you know, when it all ends. Um, because we really want to, you know, see stays. So mm-hmm. that's what we wanted to express through the song. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. No, thank you guys for for breaking down these these songs for us. I I know we don't have a ton of time, but I we had to touch on you know as many as we can, of course. Yeah, but sure. you, you did hint about you know wanting to see stays again, and we know mm-hmm. you're coming to the U.S. for your upcoming tour this summer. Ooh, I'm wondering, yeah. are, there, are there any spoilers you guys can share with us, like at this time right now? Oh, oh um, let's 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 ask uh, Lino. Do you have any um spoilers? Yeah. Oh, some people. Handsome people. Handsome people. No, that's that's, a, that's a, you, you can't spoil that. It's too much. You can't, <laughs> you can't spoil too much. <laughs> um, I guess um. I don't know. We, we just have a lot um, to show you guys. We're preparing a lot as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I mean, we can't spoil too much, but like, yeah, it's going to be I hectic. It's really um, special. Yeah. One thing yeah. we can mention, I guess, it's it's coming. Like, like it's we haven't shown it yet. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. so, it's been, that. what, two years since we've done it? Of course, of course. Of course. So, in that amount of two years until now, I feel like. It's a whole different side of us. Yeah. Mm. Like, not, not, I mean, not only that, but I feel like it's going to be different for just like 
in general, like, mm, yeah, like in general, yeah, like for for the audience, they're gonna be like, oh, oh, so like, oh, they can do this. Oh, this is completely different. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. the our stage back there, like two years ago, how yeah. they saw our concert at that time, mm-hmm. and if they see it's gonna oh, be completely our concert different. compared to mm-hmm. now, they're gonna be like, wow, they like they changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, it's gonna give that kind of vibe. I feel like um I guess I don't know uh, the concert that we're gonna I guess um showcase is gonna be out of the ordinary mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. gonna be oh, yeah it's gonna be very ordinary very um different I guess maybe Just... some some might say it might be ordinary <laughs> no <laughs> actually ordinary I don't know if that makes quite makes a lot of sense actually <laughs> but <laughs> completely makes sense. All right, amazing, amazing. Well, yeah, you know, thank you guys for for those uh for, for those little spoilers. That was that was no worries. So I wanted to, Jeff, I wanted to jump in and ask a couple questions. You mentioned the JYP Republic partnership. Um, obviously, this it's a big step, and and also introduced you guys um, to an even wider audience. And I, I wanted to hear why ordinary felt like the right project to kind of put that new foot forward in, in terms of, you know, so many new listeners, uh, obviously, you know, your first number one album, like why did this feel like the right time for this type of project? Mm-hmm. Interesting question. Yeah. So you have a um, deep thought. It's um... so what I'm here for. I, I try to keep it deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the question. Um, well, first of all, to be, I guess, in like a partnership is, it, it itself is a really, really big honor. Mm-hmm. And um, it is, um, it's been a while since we've released an EP as well, right? Yeah. But um, yeah. with this opportunity, we wanted to show something different with Stray Kids, yet very, very impactful that, you know, really expresses Stray Kids color. And um, not only the title track Maniac, but also the B-sides as well, we wanted to, you know, ex- express a lot. And we just thought that, you know, this was a really, really good chance. So, um, yeah, I think that's why we decided to, you know, go out, go out with this um, project. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially the start of um, 2022, mm-hmm. especially. So I th- we all thought, yeah, this would be a good chance to yeah. kind of show a new side. Mm-hmm. Like, even if it was an EP, I think we really, like, sharpened our blades. And mm-hmm. we were like, no, nah, we gotta, we got to, you know, bring a really big impact to the start of this More year. Quality yeah. To it. Yeah, you it's can... been a, a long time coming too. I got to say, you guys have so many entries on world albums, world digital songs charts, or mm-hmm. world digital song sales chart. You guys have been killing it for songs. It's just a matter of time till, till you got there. So, very oh. big <laughs> moment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious just to just to um, you know, obviously like this number one album, and I, I want to run through the stats one more time in case anybody joined late. Uh, first number one album for you guys, 110,000 equivalent album units in its debut. Wow. Wow. 103,000 pure album sales, which is the biggest yeah. sales week for an album in 2022. That wow. is enormous. Uh, a couple uh, I did not mention on the first try. Uh, number one on top album sales, obviously. And then obviously joins 10 earlier top 10 charting releases on world mm. albums chart. I'm, I, I'm curious just for you guys, what this past week has felt like with this project in the in you know out there in the world and you see you know all the the hype and and fandom uh before getting the number one uh today like h- how did it feel like did, just hearing from fans experiencing the excitement around this well that's a good question yeah i think um all the members are going to have the same um thought but um honestly um the the stats that you even the stats that you even even told us um this is all because of stays yeah, yeah like definitely. like yeah I mean um I think throughout the week we would just always you know um try and see you know what their reactions are what they think about the album and um like just just seeing how much they give interest into you know the music and the album itself um. I guess just that was the reason why we could get this far. And um, I mean, 
I don't know if we deserve it, but like, you know, um, I guess it's like a really big present that, you know, a really big gift that stays, you know, gave us. So it only just makes us want to give them more. It only makes us, you know, want to try harder. And, um, you know, I feel like it's just a really big, it's a really good start for, you know, 2022. So mm, yeah. just a really big thank you to Stays. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's something that we really, really want to emphasize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Oh yeah. H- have you guys heard uh have you heard from your buddy Ryan Reynolds who uh Ooh, who, who, wow. who oh, gave yes. Ryan. Who did give a shout out to Ordinary. Uh Yeah, early. he did. <laughs> <laughs> um we were really really surprised. It came Me, out of yeah, nowhere. We actually didn't really expect that because yeah. um the fact that we just prepared for Ordinary um you know, we'll only focusing to uh release this for stays and mm-hmm. obviously ryan reynolds is also a stay but <laughs> i mean looking at that the fact that he would just upload hashtag ordinary was very i guess exciting yeah it was crazy just, just looking at it like wow it shows how much of a stay he is. yeah because no, i remember i saw it and i was like i captured it and then i sent it to you like, guys, is this real? i was like oh this is ryan young yeah ryan yeah, young yeah, 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 brother ryan <laughs> I like how um, we, I guess, show um, support to each other very passively because, like, even for us, we even, you know, like the newest movie, The Adam Project, like, yes. we all checked it oh. out. It was a really good movie. Um, Free Guy was really Free good Guy too. Was really good too. And then we're, we're really, really excited for Deadpool 3 as well. So, yeah. 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 I mean, if he shows love and support for us, we have, we always have it ready for him as well. Yeah. So, um, always have a gift. Big ready. thank you to Big Brother Ryan. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we gotta give give love to to Ryan Reynolds, of course. We do. At, <laughs> biggest stay in the room. Wish he was here with us tonight, but uh, he'll have to be <laughs> at the next one. And guys, you know, I really do. I, I want to just, you know, kind of wrap. I know you guys got a really busy day ahead of you. You guys got a ton going on. I really want to say thanks for joining us to uh, celebrate this really big moment for you guys. I couldn't be happier for you. But. No. You know, also just want to make sure that you guys, you know, get the chance to uh, to really take this in, really enjoy the moment. There, there's so much growth, so much amazing things you guys have shown with this album. So I really hope you're taking it all in and uh, get to get to have some celebrations today. Oh, uh, well, uh, no, thank you. Um, thanks to you guys for, you know, um, spending time with us. We had we had a great time as well. So uh, yeah. thank you for asking us this and that. And um, yeah, like you said, um, yeah, we've got like really really hectic schedules ahead of us so um we'll try and always stay healthy make sure you guys stay ho- healthy as well and um yeah thank you for giving us your time Jeff thank you so much Jason. thank you so much mm-hmm. thank you guys and uh, yeah. thanks to everyone listening i know there's a lot of people yeah, right there's now. A, lot. Wow, a lot of people it's amazing and you know if if we can end this on on kind of a a, a note because i i actually got to, i was at your guys's press conference the stray kids press conference and mm-hmm. uh bang chan you gave this amazing note about what ordinary stands for and how uh all the oddities that someone might have about themselves you guys mm-hmm. want to make them feel normal and that goes back to you know stray kids message about stray kids all around the world we you know yep. you make us stay um you know, can you give out one last message to to everyone who tuned in here, all all the stays who came out to support this album, and just uh, you know, these are still kind of tough times, as as we all know. You know, any any yep, comforting yep, words yep. you guys can give uh, while we while we wrap this up? Yeah, true. Um, I don't know. Uh, now that you mention it, because there's so many people, um, it's, uh, it's I'm getting kind of like red, but um, yeah. Um, I mean, to everyone who's listening. Um, like our al- album says, odd plus ordinary. Being odd is ordinary. Wow, yes. Um, if you have anything that's, um, I guess anything that you think is odd about yourself, um, I don't think. Well, we don't think that there's any reason to hide it. Um, there's no need to feel anxious about. Mm-hmm. There's no need to be, um, like you know, so nervous about it. But really, um, it's still a part of you. And um, you as a human being, you as an individual in, you know, planet Earth, um, I think that itself is really, really special. You never know because, I mean, you know, there's always a saying where one person, one man can change the world. You know? yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, just let it out. Um, accept it and just release it out there because you never know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, feel free. Uh, enjoy being who you are. And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay, ordinary. yeah. Stay ordinary. Yeah. Stay ordinary.
Yes. No, I love it. I, I really want to thank you guys. Yes. One more time. Thank you, everyone who came out. Thank you, Jason, for for coming with us. Billboard and Twitter and Republic Records for hosting. This was this was really amazing. We had I think I saw 50, 60,000 people here. Yeah. So. <gasps> really? Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Listen, the, the, the excitement is real. The excitement is worldwide. And, and uh, thank you guys for your time. And, and congrats again. Wow. Thank you so much. So much. Wait, um, how do you guys do the, the, the emoticon stuff? Wait, wow, where is that? <laughs> Wait, I want to try it out. <laughs> you see that little heart with the plus on it? Oh, it's this oh. one. Oh, I found it. <laughs> you can make it any color you want. Thanks you, I'm guys. making it green. Thank you. See you guys next time. Thank you. Awesome, <laughs> thank you.